Hi, today we'll do a review of the windowsill uh, because it's already almost winter, so the windowsill is uh, evolving all the time, obviously. But during these two moments, like fall and spring, when uh, you go from winter to summer, the windowsill uh, won't always look great. Uh, there is a lot of uh, deformed pictures, deformed leaves, uh, stressed plants because everything is changing, the humidity, the temperature, etc. A lot of variation. That's where I want to show you uh, how it is on me. So when it's happened to you, you don't stress out because sometimes the deformation could look like pest, trips. Uh, you don't want to treat for trips if you don't have it. If it's just stress, uh, it will only make it worse. It will stress the plant even more. So um, this video, I will show you the review of the whole plant and try to uh, explain you what happened and why. So here is the windowsill and we are end of October now when I'm filming this. Everybody looks okay, but what you can see is there is a lot of sun. The sun actually it's uh, lower now because it's fall, but it's uh, warm enough, hot enough to really heat the windowsill. So during summer, believe it or not, but I can better manage the heat. But during fall, that's different. Okay, uh, now it's uh, the end of the day, it's better to film. Let's start by the plant from Malaisena Tropical. This is a Ventricosa by Effipiata. That's the EP uh, clone. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, it will be probably as good as the Brixena, if not better. Uh, nothing to say except uh, it's, it didn't uh, have any trouble during summer. Beside, that's the Loei by Campanulata. Uh, I had one picture that came with the plant when I received it. And the following leaf, I broke the tendril. So now it's the second leaf and I'm about to have a new picture. Uh, again, growing nicely, no problem at all. Uh, here we have a small truncata, seed grown, a uh, red one, I believe. This is a spectabilis. This one is from Sinabung. Beside that, that's the Vichy uh, Hose Mountain. Hose Mountain. Uh, I will try to show you the first picture. Okay, sorry for that. So it's about to picture. It's doing. Uh, it's slow down. It's not a fast growing plant, uh, and it's kind of a slow down during summer. Uh, beside that, that's the Bebegie by Edouard Zena from Malaysia Tropical. Uh, I really hope it will uh, love the windowsill because that's a fantastic plant. Uh, for now, it's picturing. It uh, took some time clearly to adapt to the windowsill, but now it's happy. And I guess it will be better during winter. So, finger cross for this one. I will do an update uh, in the middle of winter to see if it's still picturing. After that, it's not a Malaysia tropical plant, that's a no ID. Uh, this one, uh, I don't know what it is. It was a gift, but it's growing nicely. Soon it will be reported. Uh, hopefully it's, uh, it's cool, this one. So this one is getting better now. That, uh, it's uh, cooler. That's the Truncata by Mira. Okay, so now that's the biggest plant from Malaysia Tropical. Uh, this one is Gothica. So that's uh, Maxima Dark by Sibylensis. Uh, that's the EP clone. Fantastic grower. Nice, big, colorful picture. Uh, really, I was looking for this one for a long time and uh, I'm really, really happy. And the two I got, more than that, I mean, I've been sold uh, in a blink. So uh, clearly, uh, people know that it's a good clone. So beside that, I mean, uh, okay, under this one, here. So this one, this is a Vichyai by Bocciana. Uh, for now, the only picture I have is this one. Uh, stripe looking good. Super tiny, but uh, it didn't like the summer. So now that it's cooler, 
uh, it's about to make a new picture with a way bigger size. So I uh, can't wait to see uh, when this one will open. So this one that is about to picture uh, after <laughs> three months, so clearly he didn't like the summer. Big leaf jump. This is truncata something. Okay, let me check. Truncata something, I believe. Truncata spectabilis. So I would love to show you a picture of this one, but uh, on Domino Seal, uh, he didn't like it. So now it's about to picture, now that the temperature is better. So this one, that's a glandulifera hybrid. Uh, I will show you the first picture that it did. It was cool, but now it's way better and super colorful. Can you guess what it is? Glandulifera by Botsiana, I believe. And super sticky, uh, a lot of sugar. The glandulifera is really, really present, but uh, the, the color is uh, very nice. Let me check if I <laughs> said something wrong or not. Glandulifera by, yeah, Botsiana. Uh, quite easy to grow and uh, a lot of nectar glands everywhere. And uh, it's about to give me a new picture, so... Beside that, uh, that's another uh, glandulifera hybrid. This one is with uh, Maxima this time, so it's less colorful. That's... Oh, the other way around. Maxima by glandulifera. And beside that, we have... It's a complex hybrid, I don't know it by heart, but it's Glandulifera by Bossiana, by Campanulata by Vichii. So, I already have the Glandulifera by Bossiana, but this one, because of the Vichii, could have a bigger peristome. We will see, uh, even the Campanulata could uh, also give a better shape, so we will see. Uh, I'm curious to compare the pure Glandu by Bossiana with this one. With had uh, just a, a quarter of Campanetta and a quarter of Vichii. But the Peristone is nice. So we will see. Beside that, that's the Surigaoensis. Yes. I hate this name. <laughs> so it's uh, doing great. It's two seed grown. Uh, the first one, uh, have, it has a light Peristone, slightly uh, striped. Uh, looking good, and the other one is more red. So, that's the other one. Yeah, so more red. Uh, the tendrils of this one are really long. It's uh, Every pitcher is always uh, landing on the, the egg crate, uh, on the tray. It's, uh, uh, yeah, I think the tendril will be very, very long later when uh, it starts to vine. So that's going to be cool. Beside that, that's the tray of Vichii. I will talk about the background I added, the cork, but uh, right now uh, every Vichii are doing okay. Not great, but just okay. Uh, leaf jump, that's cool, but less pitcher. Uh, I feel like all the, the pitchers, it skipped already a few pitchers, uh, but uh, now it's getting better, but uh, yeah too hot during summer, even with the hairy leaves. And this one is a new one. Uh, you never saw it. That's the so old pictures. They are dying. That's, what, that's the one that came with the shipping. But this one is uh, pink. So uh, yellow peristome plus a pink body. And that's the new picture it gave me uh, under my care. So it's tiny, recovering, too hot, shipping, etc. But now it's getting way better. So I can't wait to see how it will look like when it will be way, way bigger. Beside that, that's the Petiolata. So two seed grown, this one and this one. One is green, one is uh, like uh, reddish. And the pictures are totally different. That's why I kept uh, those two, to really compare them. Uh, there is some red, for sure, on this one. Uh, light peristome, it's cool. This one is beautiful. And the other one, the reddish leaf, uh, fantastic color. Look at that. It's hard to believe it's the same species. 
uh, really colorful. Uh, the inside of the picture is really uh, light color, almost white. Uh, very interesting. It was the same uh, seed pods, so I don't know. Uh, some are really different, and the color is beautiful on this one. Beside that, we have two Vichii. That's the Pu, no, Pa Humor. Uh, as you see, the leaves are kind of uh, reddish, but again, a lot of sun. I will try to show you. Okay, let me double check. Yes, it's Pa Humor. Uh, I'm always mixing up. Uh, here is the last picture. It would be funny to compare this one with the Hoose Mountain later, but for now they are really tiny, so nothing really to compare. So beside that, uh, this one uh, really took a bit. Uh, it had trips uh, in spring, I treated with uh, some chemicals, it was too strong, then it was too hot during summer, so the, the growth point is still alive, but the leaves, the last two leaves are really awful. To give you a perspective, in September I had 27 uh, Celsius, so that's a lot. That's more than what I got uh, during summer. But it's still picturing, the old leaves are coming back uh, picturing, so uh, I will show you the last picture that uh, has been around for at least uh, three months. Very nice plant. Beautiful colors. Uh, by the way, it's uh, Vichai by Loei by Platicaila. So I don't know if it's because of the Loei, but clearly it didn't like the summer. This one is Truncata by Efipeta by Maxima. Uh, it's picturing again beautiful curve on the leaf, etc. But the previous leaf, uh, the two previous actually, never uh, gave uh, any uh, picture. The last picture was again from three months ago, and that it looks like that. That's a beautiful plant. One of my favorite. It gets darker over time, but uh, I'm sure it will be huge and beautiful later. Okay, let's put it back here. Uh, this one, that's uh, picturing big leaf jump, uh, if I'm correct, that's Rumkatliai by Vichii. Uh, it, it, yeah, yeah, Rumkatliai by Vichii. Uh, it's growing slowly, but it's uh, growing nicely. The, the previous picture, it starts to be crowded here. I will soon have to repot and separate them, but the new leaf, which was burnt because of the sun, I did a nice tubby picture. No stripes. But, I mean, uh, quite a bee, quite cool. We will see how it grows later. Really quick, if you're new here, I explain everything about growing Nepenthes on a windowsill or in a grow tent. So if you love picture plants, make sure you subscribe. Let's go back to the video now. This one, uh, still tiny, it's uh, Stenophila. Uh, cool little plant, uh, it's not fast growing one for now, but uh, we will see later if it's a, a good one or not, for the windowsill, I mean. This one, that's a Molly's hybrid. This is a Molly by Vichii, by Vichii. Uh, Andrea with tuba clone, a fantastic color. I don't know how it will evolve later because of the molly, but the peristome, the color of the peristome is uh, fantastic right now. I just wish the peristome would be bigger, but again, with two Vichii in it, uh, it should. Another Andrea Wistuba clone, that's the Clipiata by Emae by Vichii by Loei. So, uh, for now, it's looking healthy. Uh, I don't know exactly what will looks like the picture later, uh, but for now, I mean, it's good. 
This one, uh, quite a few leaf jump. That's the uh, Maxima by Trust Mediensis. So that's the first uh, time I have some Trust Mediensis hybrid. So I'm not sure what to expect from it, but right now, I mean, that's cute and uh, it will probably be way better later. Beside that, that's my biggest uh, Truncata by Mira, but I broke the tendril of this one because I was too impatient. Uh, that happened. Yes, Truncata by... Yeah, it's a BCP, by the way. So I don't know if it's useful, but... A pretty strong grower, uh, Truncata probably help. Uh, for now, it's hard to see the influence of the Mira, except the fact that uh, it's angled, the the pictures are not really uh, straight. Beside this one, that's the uh, Glandulifera by Trasmadiensis. So it's the same as the previous one, which was uh, Maxima by Trasmadiensis. This time, that's the Glandulifera, so way redder, obviously. But uh, being able to compare those two will be interesting. Uh, we'll see which one is the best. This one, okay, it's vining. So, as you see, it start to vine super fast and it was not really tall before. So, uh, even the, the stem is not thick. So, this one is really strange. It's reacting like uh, Minima, but, uh, but uh, it's Maxima by Naga. And I know the Naga is not really obvious in it, but uh, we'll see later. So another one that didn't like uh, the summer, it did a big uh, leaf jump, but uh, not a great picture. This picture is really old and uh, it's Sibirensis by Rokantli Eye. Beside that, this big leaf, this is Emae. So this uh, beautiful picture, Nepontes Emae, uh, skipped a picture during summer. One leaf uh, didn't produce any picture, but now that it's cooler, uh, clearly the new picture is uh, way bigger than the previous one. And uh, yeah, uh, everything is properly formed. You have the nectar gland on the top and this uh, beautiful colored peristome, which will be turning uh, darker later. That's the old picture, as you see, the picture jump was quite good. Here you have a huge leaf jump, this beautiful new leaf. Let me show you. This one, that's uh, a plant that really don't care about the summer. Uh, I will show you. That's the Loia Vitiae by Bociana by Norciana Maxima. So maybe the Norciana is uh, protecting it from summer heat, but uh, the the plant is uh, really happy. The, the color of the pictures. Uh, I really love this uh, gradient on the peristome and uh, they last long and it will probably be less happy during uh, winter, but we will see that. So during uh, summer, uh, if not all produced uh, big uh, pictures, they all start to grow faster. And at least uh, three to five plants like this one will have to be reported soon because they are taking over all the smaller plants around. So we will see. But speaking of which, smaller plants, this one, as you see, between the leaf uh, damage from the thrips plus the heat of the summer, it produced a picture, which is, I'm feel, <laughs> feeling really lucky, but uh, the, the leaves are not really great lately. It will recover, especially during winter, but uh, it was hard. That's the... Truncata red pasian, so it's supposed to be a highland one, so it doesn't really like the hot summer night. Another one that didn't picture during summer is the Vichai by Mira by Bebegie by Eduardena. Uh, this one didn't, 
it's starting to produce bigger leaves. So that's cool, but uh, that's the first picture for a long time. So it's good that the pictures last long. But yeah, most of them never picture during summer. I will still show you one of the last picture it gave me. So pretty good. I mean, the, the color of the peristome is uh, great. Uh, it's really a plant I love, but uh, oh yeah. And there is another one, but yeah, good luck to pull this out. Uh, it will break, so I will leave it be. Uh, what else? Oh yes, that's the Vichii by Maxima. Uh, tiny picture right now. I can't really show you anything fantastic about it. It's still young, I mean. This one now, new leaf, smaller leaf. And this one had a smaller picture too, so it didn't like the, the heat. That's uh, Rob Cantley. So the previous picture uh, was great uh, and it's still fantastic. Uh, really a fantastic plant. Uh, it's good that the pictures uh, last long. This is an old one, so it's dying. But before that, we had this one, which is still okay. So, yeah, uh, during summer, apparently I... No. This one, that's the Mira. Oh, the Vichii by Mira. Uh, big leaf jump, but that will be the first picture since three months. Uh, this one didn't give uh, anything. Again, too hot. Uh, but the last picture was that big, so that's that's okay. Um, we will see how it recovers. So yes, Vichai by Mira. And all those uh, are doing a big leaf jump. This is uh, the Maxima Dark, I believe. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this one is definitely, I don't know if it's a leaf jump. It's just fast growing plants. This new leaf is about to give me a picture, but the two previous one uh, didn't. So it's, uh, it's good that I understand now which one is uh, liking the summer heat and which one is not. Uh, most of my plants will be the one handling cold nights, so more on the highland side. Uh, but some plants are doing okay. This one, that's the uh, Ventricrosa, the female one. It made a few basil shoots, it made at least two flowers, I believe, and now it's long enough to be uh, with the other vines, so... Uh, but no picture, I mean, it was too hot. It focused on flowers and basil. And now that it's cooler, it's starting to try to do some uh, pictures. So we'll see if they are deformed or not. But uh, yes, the two flowers definitely uh, drained some energy, I believe. And it's almost picturing, so we'll see. So that's another Spectabilis. That's the giant form. That's the last picture it did. But again, no new picture during summer. I don't know what happened this summer. Usually it's better. But again, between the trips, the treatment, the cure of the trips, plus me in vacation for 20 days, plus the heat of the summer, uh, most of the leaves uh, didn't produce a picture. So, one, two, and uh, three. So three leaves without picture. And the new one here is now about to give me one picture. And super long tendril. So I will try to put this picture where I want it to be so I can see it at least uh, because that's a jungle now. I really need to report and separate them. But here I'll be able to show you. 
The vast majority of my viewers are not subscribers and that's too bad because the more people we have, the more connection we'll have, information, I will be able to interview other people that don't know me yet. Uh, so uh, if you want to help, unsubscribe, thanks. I just bought some uh, sphagnum moss, so yeah, all those will have to be reported. At least three, four, five, six, so it's two full trays. And uh, this one, that's the uh, Low EI by Maxima Reddish uh, Wavy Leaf. It's getting better now, it's about to picture. Uh, it did picture during summer, so it was not a, a hard stop as the other one. Uh, but uh, because it's producing uh, basil now, it's uh, not picturing too much. Uh, but uh, yeah, I will try to show you the last one. Uh, no, no, I cannot. So uh, once I will clean this windowsill, that's going to be better. So that's an uh, another Maxima, Maxima Wavy Leaf. Uh, it's getting better now. But again, I believe the cure of the trips that I uh, bought uh, was poison. Um, I'm sure it's not only the summer heat. Something happened. So this one is starting to vine and uh, it did a flower here and a new flower. So it's a male and it's uh, the Rocco Exotica by Vogelii. So really more Vogelii than anything. Uh, I don't see really the Rocco. It's about to picture the, the last picture. Uh, here it is. Very nice color. Very Vogelii like. And we will see when we will have the upper, because now it's vining, so that's going to be cool to see. But the colors are fantastic, I mean, that's a great plant. It's a male, so I can cross that with other plants, which is cool, uh, but definitely starting to vine now. So I'm sure by uh, spring it will have uh, reached the other vines. Uh, this one hidden on the back. That's Nepenthes longiptera. Uh, it's a surprise, it's seed grown. Uh, I got the seeds uh, a few years ago and uh, I was not expecting a, a nice picture like that. Uh, that's a very good surprise. Uh, there is a lot of species that uh, are underrated. Okay, so now let's talk about Nebularum uh, again. A lot of damage from the thrips. Uh, it's getting better, but uh, no picture, really. But the next leaf could be normal and picturing, so we would see. And it's always enjoying cold. So here is the last picture, still alive. And now let's talk about the elephant in the room. So this elephant, this is Nepenthes truncata. So uh, that's the new picture that just uh, opened. Uh, it's fantastic. But in the middle of summer, uh, the picture was uh, way tinier. So uh, now it's fully recovered from the summer and it's doing just great. I will show you uh, two leaves ago. That's the size of the picture I got. So, uh, I mean, it's still big, the, the new one is big, but this one I feel is probably half an inch uh, bigger, but now it's starting to die. So, all the top and the pristome is dead. So, I will uh, overfeed it and hopefully it will uh, give me a better picture later. This is the, an old leaf and the new leaf is hidden there. It's already doing uh, almost a leaf jump and the tendril uh, is looking good, so we'll see. This one is uh, Spectabilis by Vichii and uh, most of the tendrils uh, didn't produce a picture and now it's starting to produce picture again, but they are deformed, but at least there is picture. So, uh, it was hot during summer, I believe, and now it will be better and super sticky. Uh, so I will show you the last uh, nice picture that I got a few 
leaf ago. So uh, that's the last one. But before we had this one, let me, I will try to show you because the peristome is fantastic. Look at that. Very nice. And decent size. So hopefully during uh, winter, everything will be uh, picturing like crazy because there is two vine uh, and that's going to be good. Behind all the basil that you see, I will try to show you better here. So that's the spatulata by Spectabilis. Uh, that's the old picture it did. It's almost totally uh, dead now. After that, it gave me another one. I will try to show you. Yeah, no, it's too tight. I will break it. Uh, and then it gave me this one. This one should be easier to grab. Okay, come on. Okay, here. So as you see, the size uh, is pretty impressive. Uh, the size of the picture is great. The color is great, super dark. Uh, that's a cool plant. But now it's starting to vine. So that's the lower pictures. So here is the vine. As you see, most of the tendril didn't give me a picture, but this one did. Uh, Upper picture, I don't know what to expect. There is the lead that is too small because of the stress, but uh, we will see. And pretty decent size again. This one will join the other vines. Here is Brixiana. So Brixiana, let me show you. Yeah, it's behind. At least something like three, four basil. Uh, that's cool. I mean, I will be able to uh, separate them. That's the last picture it gave me. So lately, it's been uh, slowing the pictures because there is a flower, female flower. Very nice. So I will do some tests on the seeds to see if some products help the seedlings to grow faster or to help the germination rates. Uh, we will see. Uh, that's going to be for another video. So here, that's the burke. It's getting better. A lower picture, but uh, this is a long vine. Probably around 3 meters. Uh, and I note the... I tag the vines because I don't want to be hunting for the pot later. And the pictures during summer were not great. They formed. It's getting better, but... Uh, not perfect. And finally, here, this is an activated node of Lady Pauline. Uh, so Maxima by Telegensis. And it's uh, vining like crazy. Uh, let me show you. All the old uh, pictures start to die. But now I have other pictures, uppers that are kind of everywhere. So soon I should have a lot of pictures uh, on the vine and that's going to be very cool to see. Oh, and the last tray, it's uh, more for propagation. That's uh, most of them are Pinguicula, uh, Weather, but uh, I had to add a light uh, just because they were not growing properly. I will even lower, lowering it uh, down so it's uh, growing better. And here, the light, the bulb uh, died, so I had to use another light uh, for the pinguicula again, and that's uh, doing great. So again, your nepal test on your willow seal during fall and spring won't be uh, at their best, but. Uh, Soon they will uh, bounce back and everything will be back to normal. As you saw, uh, all the plants are not great, but most of them are getting way better. But the night temperature during summer was the thing stressing most of the plants because some are intermediate to highlander and they, they will need this cool night. 
So if on your windowsill you have this kind of uh, problem, stressed plants, deformed pictures and leaves, if it's happening only during spring and fall, please let me know in the comments because uh, that's gonna help people to understand that uh, it's okay, it's normal, it is not pests, and that's gonna be more useful for beginners. So until next time, happy growing.